Have you completed projects and aren't too sure how you can display your accomplishments? Well, today I'll walk you through on how you can create a portfolio on GitHub that you can use going forward. So anytime you complete a project, you now know where and how to update your portfolio on GitHub. So you wanna head over to github.com and then create an account. Once you sign into your account, what you want to do is create a new repository. By doing that, you can click on the repository tab and then click on new you'll be presented with this screen here. You want the repository name to be the same name as your username. My username is test-mydfir. Now, if your username is, let's just say Bob, you want your repository name to be Bob. This will be a special repository that you can use to add a readme.md file to your GitHub profile, which will essentially be your landing page. Now we will create this before creating our project page and it is up to you if you want to add in the description or not. I'll go ahead and just leave this blank. But when you scroll down, do make sure that it is set to public so that way anyone on the internet can see your repository. I'll check this option, add a readme file and then scroll all the way down and then I will click on create repository. Now that a readme.md file has been created, we can go ahead and select the pencil icon. And this is where we can edit our page. This file uses Markdown for formatting. And if you aren't too sure how to use Markdown, that's okay. You can always utilize ChatGPT to help you create a template. And you can always read the documentation on Markdown to learn more. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. For this demo, I'll provide you with my template. So you can just go ahead and copy it onto your GitHub. To do that, you can just click on the link in the description, select the readme file, and then copy the contents over here. Now, this is my template right here. I'll just click on preview just so you can see what it looks like. So it first has the, hello, this is my name, head over to my LinkedIn profile. So do make sure you have a LinkedIn page. You do your brief introduction and all that good stuff. I will walk through it via the edit. That way you can see what I'm actually doing. Let me zoom in just a bit so you can see a lot better. Perfect. So right here, it says, hello, I'm change me. So this is where you want to enter in your name, right? So I'll type in my name. I'm Steven. And right below this is a hyperlink that will link to your LinkedIn profile. If you do not have one, pause this video right now and go and create one. But if you do have one, make sure the H ref is referencing your LinkedIn URL. So for example, your LinkedIn URL would be something like, I don't know, Bob profile, <laughs> something like that. But currently it is set to the default LinkedIn. Right beside it is image source. This is essentially grabbing an icon and badge from shields.io, this URL right here. You can head over to their site to learn more about them, especially if you want to add or customize them as well. For example, let's just say you have a YouTube channel and you want to display that onto your profile. You can grab the YouTube logo and badge from shields.io. If you don't know how to customize it, again, you can utilize ChatGPT to help you with that. At the bottom, I have a section for brief introduction. This is where you want to type in who you are very briefly. You don't want to make this super, super long. So here is a sample introduction. I am a recent graduate with a profound interest in technology and a dedication to solving complex problems. Straight to the point, good to go. Next is objective. What is your objective? What are you trying to do? Again, don't make this super, super long, but just straight to the point. My example, my journey in computer science has led me to develop a passion for cybersecurity, and I am now eager to transition into this field. Specifically, aiming to join a security operations center, SOC, as a tier one analyst. The next is your skills section. You want to provide your skills and the associated project. And do make sure you hyperlink the project as well. So a very high level overview of what skills you've learned. So for example, the SOC Automation Lab, Security Automation with Shuffle Soar. It's a skill that we learned. And then you want to hyperlink your project page for your SOC automation right here. And to do that, we simply copy the format that we see up here. There's an H ref and it's referencing google.com right now, but it's just there for an example. At any given time, you can click on preview and then scroll all the way down to your skills and then just click on it to see what happens, right? But we don't want to leave this yet. So I'll click cancel and hit edit. 
Now let's just say I mess up and type in href with two Rs. I'll go into preview and now you can see there's no longer hyperlink. So I do encourage you to bounce between edit and preview to see what kind of changes you're doing. I'll go ahead and remove that R and then we'll scroll down. The next section is tools. So provide your tools and break them down into categories. Use ChatGPT to help you create the link if needed. So I've already created multiple categories. I've created a network category. I've also created an endpoint category and I've also created a SIM category. Now, if you've used additional tools, then of course, create more categories and add them onto that. Do use the similar format. So you can just go ahead and copy this. For an example, I'll say cloud. Then I'll just copy paste that. And now I'll just need to change the image source and update it to whatever tool I used. Let's just say I have some experience with Amazon AWS and I wanted to include that into my cloud tools. So what I can do is copy one of these URLs, head over to ChatGPT, and then I will say update this and use Amazon AWS instead. And then I'll paste in the code. And now it says, hey, certainly, here you go. This is the code that you can use. Now I can just go ahead and copy the code. I mean, you can use whichever one fits your boat. And then I'll copy paste that, head over to preview, see if it works. Likely it won't because I am missing something. Yeah, see, it won't. So let me go back into edit. And remember, you want to follow the format. So if you notice that these are using brackets and we don't want that. So instead, I'll just create the image source equals with quotes remove the parenthesis, I'll end it with a quote, slash, and greater than sign. Perfect. Now we'll click on preview. And I see cloud Amazon S3. So that's how you want to edit your stuff. Use ChatGPT to update your URLs and make sure it follows the same format. Next is certifications. Similar to tools, provide the certifications that you have obtained and use ChatGPT to customize the link for you. Now, just so we're on the same page here, to customize a URL or to customize your certification, let's just say I have CISSP and I want to add that on here. So I'll copy the image source, head over to ChatGPT, update this with CISSP, and then paste in that image source and then copy the code, make sure it follows the same format, right? Currently it's not enclosed in tags. So let's go ahead and create that tag. Image source equals, then remove the parenthesis, and then close it off. Click on preview just to test and see what your configuration is like. And we do have CISSP included now, perfect. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to help you out. Now let's go back into edit and we'll head over to the last section, which is projects. So here you actually just create bullet points by using a dash and then enter in the project that you have completed. So for example, if I were to just add another project, I can just hit enter and then type in test project and that's it. Obviously we'll hyperlink this once we create the project page for one of these projects. You can go ahead and save this out by scrolling all the way up and click on this big green button called commit changes. So click on that, update readme, go ahead and commit the changes. Because this is a landing page, we don't really need to add any description or message and simply hit commit changes. Now you can see that my page is now, hello, I'm Steven with my LinkedIn, I have a brief introduction. Scrolling down, I should have CISSP as my certification and I should have test project. Cool. The next thing we wanna do is create a project page for your repository. To do that, we'll go ahead and select our profile. So if we scroll all the way up, click on your profile at the top left corner, click under repositories and then click on new. And here we want to name the repository as our project. So my project was detection lab. Scroll down, your description is optional. Do make sure it is set to public and let's add a readme file. Let's go ahead and click on create repository. And just like before, we can click on the pencil icon. And I also have a template that you can go ahead and copy and paste. 
So this is my template. To begin, you can go ahead and change the name to the project that you have completed. My project here is Detection Lab. Next is the objective section. You want to include what the purpose and end goal of this project is. In this demo, I used ChatGPT to create a random objective for this fake project. I do encourage you to utilize ChatGPT if you ever get stuck, but do make sure you alter it afterwards and don't simply copy and paste it and hope for the best. Scrolling down, both skills learned and tools used are quite self-explanatory. Simply list out what skills you have learned throughout the project and include the tools along with its purpose. As for steps, this section can be called anything you want, honestly. It is there to show whoever is reading this that this is where the project begins. If you ever wanted to provide screenshots, which I highly recommend you do, you can simply drag and drop your screenshots onto the GitHub page, or you can utilize image UR, where you can upload your screenshots to that site, and then use GitHub to pull the screenshot by using the tag image source, similar to what we did for our landing page. Once you're done, scroll up and select commit changes, and then commit change. Your project readme should now be updated, just like this. Let's head back to the main project page by clicking on Detection Lab. And then at the top, you wanna to copy the URL. Now we will go and update our hyperlink on our main landing page. So let's head back to our landing page. We can do that by clicking on the username and then select the pencil icon. This will drop us in the edit page and we need to edit two things. So if we scroll down to our skills, if you recall, we did list out Detection Lab as one of our associated project. All we need to do is now remove google.com and HTTPS and just paste in our URL there. Now you'll still see these square brackets with google.com. Go ahead and remove that and remove the parenthesis as well. Just like that. And the next thing we wanna scroll all the way down and update our projects. So right here, now, what we can do is manually type out href, or we can go ahead and just copy the hyperlink at the top. So this right here, copy the entire thing, but don't copy the pipe, which is this right here. You do not want that. You want everything in the tag itself. So I'll scroll all the way down, and then I'll just go ahead and replace detection tab with this URL here. Now, I do need to make sure that my project name is still detection lab, and that's correct. Now, I'll scroll all the way up, Click on preview and I just want to look at my projects. And I do see that it is hyperlinked as we can tell by the blue underline. Let's go ahead and commit changes to update our readme file. Now that our changes have been saved, we'll scroll down and now we'll select the first detection lab. This should link back to our project of detection lab. And then if you were to scroll down, you would see the objective of the project the skills that you've learned on your project and the tools that you've used. And then of course, the steps that you've done. Now, when you do add on a screenshot, and I forgot to mention this, make sure that you add in the reference number as well as what they are looking at. So for example, if I were to paste in a network diagram, I would put in a reference that, hey, this is our network diagram. So whoever's reading it can tell that they're looking at a network diagram. Now, the last thing to do is make sure your profile is updated. Scroll all the way up, click on your username, and then on your left, you see a big edit profile. So click on that. And here you can enter in your name, put in your bio, pronouns, your company, location, if you want. If you have a website, this is where you list your website and obviously your social accounts, if you have a YouTube channel, for example, or a LinkedIn profile. Now, yes, you will see it with their landing page, but hey, it's a good idea to have it in more than one place. As for the picture, I highly recommend you use the same picture as your LinkedIn profile. Something professional, if you can. Although I've demoed this using GitHub, you can really use any other free sites such as Medium or LinkedIn to showcase your project. It is entirely up to you on how you want to design your portfolio. There really is no right or wrong way of doing it. Just try and make sure that it is easy to follow and highlight the skills that you have learned by completing said projects. That is it for the video, and I hope you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.